You want to do what? It's just going to be two matches. Best of three series. So yeah, <laughs> it might go to. If Bianca really has no fight in her, it'll probably go to. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure, we could do that if we want to stick with what's comfortable. Or, get this, we fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stomping grounds in the UK. Honestly, sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of. Allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows? Untelevised? What about... What about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing and whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Ugh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you wherever you so choose. It may be my world, but I say we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. God save the king. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, Jesse Arthur.
Dear, dear, dear. That cannot have gone as you'd hoped. No. Everything went exactly according to my plan of getting hit in the face a bunch. Are you regretting giving Bianca the invitation into the Indies? Not at all. I missed the intimacy of a smaller show, the interaction with the fans. Just didn't expect Bianca to pull the same energy from the crowd quite as easily as she did. Bianca got very comfortable very quickly. If she had come up in the Indies, I would have wanted her for TBD. But that's not going to stop me from beating her at our next stop. Which raises the question, where to next on this great tour of the world? I've been giving that some thought, with an ice pack on my jaw. Bianca hits hard, and so do I. So let's go to the home of strong style, Japan. Sure, if you buy at the Japanese steakhouse we always go to. Deal. That feels like a fitting celebration once I beat Bianca. But only the food. I'm not buying you another jacket. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, Jesse Arthur.
Ladies, it appears that you two will be going to a final match. Fitting, really. Winning that championship will be even sweeter after going the full series. Don't get cocky. No way you beating me twice in a row. Before you two launch into a witty repartee, I have an update. I've just spoken to the suits in Stamford. They have... thoughts. Well, that's never good. Word of your genuinely marvelous matches has spread. And so has the buzz. They were insistent that the next match will be on WWE television. They want us to do the match on Raw? You promised us we could see this through in indie arenas. Indeed I did, so I reached an agreement. We will be producing a portion of next week's Raw live from the location of your final match. Oh, wow. Uh, listen, I know this is a stretch, but how would you both feel about having the match at T... TBD? Yes, a surprising and unexpected suggestion from you. Which is why I have already given instructions for the row crew to meet us there. Wow, it's gonna be super embarrassing to lose on your home turf. But I, for one, am here for it. One idea, though. What's that? With everything I know about TBD, and since it's the final match, kind of seems like it should be no DQ, right? Bianca Belair, you have no idea what you just asked for. <laughs> Deal. Geneva is gonna freak. Wow. <laughs> I'll second that wow. And raise you a hot damn. They really got to work in here, didn't they? Can you believe it? After the hectic morning I've had with the crew to get this set up, I can. I had to yell at some guy named Troy a lot. He kept wanting to cover up the TBD signage with raw logos entirely. <laughs> Sounds like Troy. I'm really glad that I could do this for you, Geneva. For us. Did you ever imagine that we'd be here? Honestly, you main eventing a TBD show feels pretty familiar to me. This one just has more logos. You know what I mean. This is different. Later tonight, I'm gonna win the WWE Women's World Championship in the house we built. Living the dream. Hey, you get ready. I've got some contracts to look at. <laughs> Same as always. But seriously, don't get too caught up in paperwork that you forget to enjoy yourself tonight. This is big. Big, big. I know. It is. And I won't. 
But I also know you'll enjoy this enough for the both of us. Good luck out there. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship. It's a TBD homecoming for the captain. You can see the emotion all over Cap's face. We are tied in this best of three series, and she wants to win it at home. That might be the daydream, but the nightmare comes when she loses it all in front of her hometown crowd. The EST of WWE has come to TBD. Do you think Bianca's got jitters here tonight competing out of her element on the captain's home turf? Bianca Belair is a world-class athlete and superstar. No matter what the venue, I think she'll be just fine. Bianca wants to show every... Introducing the challenger from Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, Jesse Arthur. And her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's World Champion, Bianca Belair. The referee letting our competitors take one final look at what this match will be all about. The decorated Women's World Championship. It's the main event of WWE at TBD. The title is at stake as TBD Original Cap takes on Bianca Belair in a rubber match for the Women's World Championship. A WWE title defended all over the world, and now at a U.S. indie promotion? I never would have believed it. Well, believe that despite the feel-good story, Cap has a huge challenge ahead of her to walk away champion here tonight. Leg sweep, and a senton! Oh my god, and that failed to hit the mark. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Up and down, what a slam. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick.
Toss him into the air, into the backbreaker. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Oh, my God. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. She goes back inside the ropes. Swing neckbreaker. throw saying not today oh she responds with a counter oh elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles launched up high driven down backbreaker a powerful message just sent to the champion with that move Great reaction from Bel Air. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Sent on to follow. Amazing agility. Slingshot sent on. And the pressure on Bianca continues to mount. Bianca here in a disheartening position. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Straight aggression rained down with unbelievable force, and this could be their path to the title. Dumps her to the outside. Oh, wow. Over the top. Tope Con Hero. Pinpoint precision. Right on target. The steel chair. Never as innocent as it looks. I don't care what they say. Nothing good ever comes from getting the tables. Into the barricade. Fishing for something beneath the ring. She's pulled out of the ladder, but what does she have in mind here? What a spinning backhand and a senton! And Belair is being broken down. Belair now just trying to survive. Game. Bianca at Thaw there. Oh. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. Whoa! Suicide die! Whatever it takes to win. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. And she slides her back to the mat. Bianca, uh-oh. Into the chop block, a debilitating counter there. Uh-oh. Double underarm hook, blocked, and, and a close line counter. She steers clear of that one. Able to avoid there. Good night. The champ eyes look glazed over. There's two. Kicks out. Just kicked out. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. You got to give a lot of credit here. Withstanding what has taken out many other competitors. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. A counter answered by another counter. From the middle rope, breathtaking hurricane run. Oh, man, nasty. 
nasty kick. Oh, my goodness. Sliding basement forearm. And back into the ring she goes. She wants to put an end to things here. From the ropes. Springboard cutter. How? Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. She's rummaging around under the ring here. No way. Comes back into the ring. Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. Look out! Oh, God! A huge miss! There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. Military press slam. The challenger eating up some damage. Unescapable spot for Bel Air. Oh, my God. Placing them on the table. Oh, we know where this is going, Michael. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. The can't work. You gotta be kidding me. A dive from that height could have ended in disaster. It landed, but it still looked like a disaster to me. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. And just like that, this journey for the woman they call the captain reaches a conclusion with a victory over Bianca Belair. Hey, this is no 70,000-seat stadium, but on this night and this small theater, this audience feels like WrestleMania. Well, there's nothing like WrestleMania, but I think it means a little bit more to this superstar that her first championship win happened here. A full circle moment, Corey. This woman has followed a long and winding road that brought her back to her beginning. What's next for this superstar, this WWE Champion? The sky's the limit. What's Becky Lynch doing here? Becky was the number one contender until she got injured after War Games. Becky's not moving like she's injured now. What does she want? What do you think, Saxton? No, 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 no. Not in my ring. TBD promoter Geneva Rose is not having it. I get she's ride or die with our new champion, but what's she going to do to stop Becky Lynch? You got WWE problems. Go settle them on WWE time. Because believe me when I say, if anyone, anyone tries to interrupt my best friend's hard-won moment, 
It's gonna be me. No, they've been friends for years. Don't trust anybody. This is an assault. This is karma, Saxton. You can only step on so many people before you pay the piper. And she's paying now, but for what? Thanks for coming home, Cap. It was so generous for you to put this show together for me. I know you think I'm slumming it around here, but you forget that I'm proud of what we built together. And I know you're used to taking the credit for everything. So I thought it was important for me to make an appearance tonight, to set the record straight. You'd be nothing without me. Let me be clear. I am not just some best friend side character in your hero's journey. What do you think I've been doing since you left? Sitting around and just following your career with rapt attention? You moved on. I did it. And I've been putting everything I have into growing TV dude. So, when Becky approached me, I was more than happy to help turn your moment into my moment. You can feel the bitterness from Geneva Rose, the jealousy. Recognize this? The contract we wrote in the diner when we first started TVD. Yeah, I had it framed. Thought it was a nice touch. Especially now. Because according to this legally binding document, you're still signed exclusively to TVD. You can't work anywhere else. You can't be champion anywhere else. And you belong to me. But she's a WWE superstar. Not according to Geneva Rose. See you next week, Cap. Don't be late. Well, that didn't go quite like I thought it would. No, it did not. What are we gonna do? So, some bad news about that. Geneva sent a photo of the TBD contract to legal, and the napkin checks out. But it's on a napkin! A legally binding napkin. You're still signed to TBD. And as long as that's the case, you can neither be WWE Women's World Champion nor a WWE superstar. You're not serious. Unfortunately, I am. The title will revert back to Bianca. Although now that she's healed, Becky will have an opportunity next week. There's gotta be something we can do to fight this. I wish there was, but my hands are tied. Good luck out there. It's been something.
Thank <laughs> you. 